Iran unveiled its first hypersonic missile named FATA on Tuesday. The missile can fly at a speed of Mach 12 to 13 and maneuver both in and out of the Earth's atmosphere. The Iranian FATA hypersonic missile was unveiled this morning at one of the IRGC Air Force bases. President Ebrahim Raisi and high-ranking army and government officials were present at the opening ceremony of the FATA missile. Iran had said earlier that it has successfully tested an indigenously developed hypersonic ballistic missile, and it will soon be unveiled. The missile can penetrate all air defense missile systems and detonate the enemy's anti-missile systems, the Iranian general said at the time. A hypersonic missile flies at over Mach 5 and at a lower trajectory than a ballistic missile in the atmosphere, allowing it to reach a target much more quickly. The announcement comes days after Iran unveiled a long-range ballistic missile with a range of 2,000 kilometers, 1,242 miles, and a warhead of 1,550 kilograms, 3,417 pounds. The Kaber Precision Guided Missile has a speed of Mach 8 to 12 and can reportedly be launched in less than 12 minutes. The unveiling of the FATA missile is yet another sign of Iran's growing defensive capabilities. In the unveiling ceremony of the hypersonic super-missile, FATA, Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh noted that anti-tank, anti-ship, anti-aircraft, and even anti-missiles have been made, but this missile cannot be destroyed due to its movement in different directions and heights. Emphasizing that FATA is unique on its own, he said that Iran is the fourth country in the world to build missiles with new technology. To destroy one missile, three missiles must be fired, while the price of an anti-missile is approximately 20 times that of a target missile, Hajizata stated. General Amir Ali Hajizadeh stressed. Our activities are non-stop and just not allocated to construct the FATA missile, we will continue our efforts more than before. FATA was unveiled at a ceremony attended by President Ebrahim Raisi and IRGC's top commanders on June 6, 2023. Also the Aerospace Force of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, chief announced. Iran has built an advanced all-Iranian hypersonic ballistic missile that is capable of passing through the most advanced missile defense systems, with targeting the same missile defense systems that are among the most important elements of the enemy's defense. On the sidelines of the 11th anniversary of the father of Iran's missile industry Hassan Tarani Magadam, Amir Ali Hajizadeh remarked. For many years, we have been carrying out aerospace activities under the cruelest and severe imposed sanctions, but today we succeeded in building an advanced hypersonic ballistic missile. Hajizadeh added that the system has a very high speed, with the ability to maneuver in the atmosphere and outside the atmosphere. He reiterated. I don't think any technology will be able to deal with Iran's new missile even decades later. He went on to say.
The important and prominent point of the mentioned technology is that it targets any target, especially the enemy's defense shield systems, and this is a great success in the field of missiles, which contributes to the country's security. He pointed out. The missile system is being developed in other fields, including drones, space, defense, electronic warfare, and other sectors by Iranian scientists. Also Iranians will witness greater successes in the near future. The commander of the IRGC Aerospace Force also added. Naturally, our enemies are striving to ban development, so we should stand alert, not let that to happen. Today, the country is engaged in a hybrid war, such as security, economic and political war, because the enemies want to stop Iran to be progressed, but Iran's great nation will not let them. Hassan Tarani Magadam was appointed as the IRGC commander's missile advisor and the head of the self-reliance organization of the IRGC in mid-December 2006 and continued to hold the position until he was martyred in 2011. He founded Iran's long-range missile program and designed the Shahab, Ghadr, and Sejil missiles with an operational range of more than 1,000 kilometers. Tarani Magadam, known as the father of Iran's missile program, was martyred on November 12, 2011, in a blast at a missile base near Tehran. 